How do people? We're back in the garage again. So today, or this evening, um, what I'm trying to do, actually I'll, I'll just quickly say, I keep forgetting to record. I'm, I'm an absolute nightmare. I come out here for five minutes and the next minute I've been out here like an hour and a half and I've kind of cut something else off the bike and I go in and I'm like, ah, forgot to record it. So um, I'm I'm really I'm <laughs> I'm really trying, but I keep forgetting. But um, so I've just done the same thing again. I'm just about to start hacking something up, and I thought I need to record this. So um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little 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 video on this. So um, but yeah. So kind of what I've done is um, I've been trying to position the tank. Um, let's see. Obviously the tank's not on it at the minute. But I'm trying to position, well, I'm kind of trying to do everything really. I'm trying to, um, where's, where's, me, where's me cad? Sorry, I'm on my knees as well today. Begging for mercy. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, tr I'm trying to do all this. Um, let's just, okay, maybe, maybe that's better. So yeah, so we're just trying to draw some things up in cardigan, really, just to kind of see where we're going with it. Um, what I like to do is uh, kind of stick the card on and stick bits on and take a kind of a, a proper side on picture of the bike. And then I go on to me um, procreate thing and kind of go from there and see what, see what I can come up with. Um, but, but yeah, so anyway, so everything kind of determines everything. Uh, where the tank sits kind of determines where, where this is gonna sit, uh, where the seat's gonna sit, because I'm, tr I'm trying to get it all to flow and it's, it's, it's proven to be a bit of a bugger. It's kind of, it's now kind of going away from like your traditional kind of flat sort of lined calf race. So it's kind of, oh, I don't know, it's kind of turning more into just, just a bit of a, Bit of a custom, may you know, may maybe an angry calf, but call it we'll, we'll call it whatever you want. But um, yeah, the the lines the lines are definitely going towards more a, a you know a bit of aggression. So, but I'm happy with that. We'll we'll go with that. Um, yeah, so I kind of had the tank positioned. Um, let's just wet the tank on. Um, so I've got little blocks of wood, which are quite handy to use because it's easy to cut just super glue it to the frame or whatever you're doing so I have had the tank the tank's been sitting around here um, which is quite nice but let me just show you something right then so on this uh, on this tank um, my first thought was to get the tank as low as I could possibly get it in the in in the in the, on the frame kind of thing. Um, so I did end up notching the tank for to sit over the um, sit over the carb, um, which I wasn't overly happy with, but it, it kind of needed doing uh, because I wanted the tank as low as possible. Then. I realized that the tank was sitting too high at the front. So what I had was the seat, what I was trying to do was line the seat angle there with this angle on the tank. So if you look, that runs there and then this angle is now kicking down. But what I didn't realize was this angle of the tank is what follows the seat angle better so it's kind of really hard to get it into shot so that's coming down there and if you kind of follow my invisible line it's reasonably a reasonably good angle to this part of the tank so that's how the tanks ended up now whereas before this was lining with that and the front of the tank was sitting way too high in the air um, it looked fine, but actually when I realised, I thought, hang on, this is going to look better uh, with the, the tank a bit, bit nose down kind of thing. 
So, um, so that's kind of, that then determined where the tank was going. Um, again, you can see I've got a few lumps of wood there holding the seat on. Again, I got totally carried away and lobbed all the back of the bike off. Um, and I completely forgot to film it, um, but I am trying. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that is kind of where we are or where we were going with the tank. But now, um, I was going to run pod filters, but uh, what I really want is to basically put the bike back together and have no running issues, no messing around with carbs, jetting, you know, moving needle heights, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm going to try and do it with the airbox going back in. Um, like I say, your traditional calf is all open here. Um, but I actually, I, I threw the airbox on and it kind of looked quite, it, it looked quite, um, quite beefy actually, kind of filling this hole in. It looked quite, it made the bike kind of a lot beefier. So, so now we've got, where are we? We've got the air box. And this is what I've just started to cut up and then realized that I hadn't been uh, recording anything. So we've got the air box there and it does nearly, nearly sit under the tank um, where it's where it's set right now um, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll I'll throw the air box in and, and and I'll show you where we're at but I'm just trying to trim off some some pieces because I am going to have, have to make the air box smaller kind of kind of thinner um, but that's fine I can whatever we do with the air box I can um, you know as, as long as these are right, in the right place, and uh, whatever I cut off volume-wise here, or around it, we can add down here where the battery used to sit. So as, as long as the air volume is reasonably the same, I think it should be okay. But um, but yeah, so I just started lobbing off the, the bits on this, um, because I am going to have to raise the tank just a little bit more. Um, but don't worry about all this gap here because this is this this seat this seat unit is only um, it's it's basically just just a seat I'm using it as a seat pad really just to determine the height of the seat. This is probably going to change the shape. But what is what is going to happen is the seat unit is going to continue down here and come up into the tank and then back down so it's going to go whoop along down and like that if that makes sense um, but let's uh, let's throw the air box in stop waffling and, and see what happens right then that's a little bit of a struggle to get in actually the air box but they usually are so now let's just throw the uh, throw the tank on so this now okay so that that is just yeah that is just sitting on that wooden block under there just sitting and we've got about I don't know if you can see but we've got about a millimeter there of clearance um, and we still need to have this little notch, but I think I'm going to raise the tank at the back. Um, again, just a little, just a lump of wood is fine. A bit of tape. Okay, it's not, that's not mega straight, but... Right, okay. So, right, there we go. I've just literally wedged a piece of wood up under the tank, so that's going to hold the tank now. Um, 
Yes, obviously it's um, it's probably about 20 mil higher than it was. Um, but by doing that, um, by doing that, hopefully, if we stick that over there again, there is about there's about five mil there we've got about five mil clearance before the from the bottom of the tank to the top of the carb um, I've also got a bit of clearance there which I'm not too worried about because I can um, like I said I can modify this air box it's, it's gonna have to be cut anyway you'll, you'll see in a minute um, so again all this here all this will be cut off we can get rid of that but if we put we put a level across there. I'm trying to do this without my head in the way, so just bear with me. So if we kind of get that somewhere level on the seat, that actually runs reasonably good with the bottom of the tank. If you know, if you know what I mean. So that is running reasonably parallel or whatever. So I'm pretty happy with that and that solves a few little problems. I can weld this back up and um, and I can use the air box and um, yeah it, it, it's quite aggressive it's quite aggressive so uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so uh, probably unless I change my mind yet again probably we'll, we'll kind of go with this somewhat very similar anyway. Okay, look, so just, just bear with me. I know exactly what you're thinking, but just bear with me. So this here, um, I want to almost, well, it wants to be like a fake piece of frame. I would quite like to tie this part of the frame in. Well, it's not even a frame, but this um, this side plate for the swing arm and what, this, this basically bolts all the, holds the swing arm. Um, to the frame and whatnot um, but if I can kind of incorporate a pretend a fake piece of frame up here into this I would quite like that so then it's kind of got a more more of a frame as such rather than just a you know just that little side that side piece um, but as you can see the air box is sticking out past the um, past the tank, which in turn is putting quite a kick in this kind of frame piece or oh, over this panel, shall we say? Um, so I may have to cut some more of the air box out. I'm not sure. I mean, I can quite easily fabricate a piece of frame that's got a slight curve at the top. Uh, that's not a problem. Anyway, but that's kind of that's kind of where I'm heading with it. Um, the biggest problem in this garage is, ooh, I haven't got enough room to be able to get the the bike in a full shot. I am now underneath my bench trying to get a shot of the bike. But there we go. Yeah, it's um, it's quite hard. You could do with being able to stand right off the bike and have a look, but I don't think, I don't think that's too bad. I can't see what you guys can see. Um, obviously the uh, picture's shaking because my hand is shaking because I'm a very in a very awkward position. Um, well, there you go. Move me hand out of the way. So there. That's kind of how it's looking. 
and uh, yeah, it's got it has got a very good stance at the minute. So yeah, the old uh, very very angry hornet, shall we say? I just can't. I cannot wait to get these wheels on. I just love them. It's gonna it's gonna transform the bike gonna transform it totally but anyway i would say we're probably 90 90 90 percent to go now so we're what maybe 10 percent in <laughs> so still still a long way still a long way of messing and cutting and fabricating and doing it wrong and starting again and whatever but that's all part of it guys that's all part of the fun but yeah So yeah, so that's kind of where we are at the minute. Um, haven't done loads. It's um, it's proven to be more difficult than I first thought actually to 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 do this thing. And the slightest angle change on the tank or the seat unit, um, it does change it quite a lot. The biggest problem with when you're trying to do something like this is uh, you just spend so much time looking at it. There's just hours and hours and hours of looking. And the problem is, is you get used to it looking a certain way and then you change it and you kind of think, oh, I don't know about that, I don't know. But sometimes it's good to change it, then walk away, you know, even if it's for a day, then walk back into what you're doing, take a quick glance. And if you're kind of happy with that quick click uh, excuse me if you're happy with that quick glance then usually that's a good thing if you look at it and you're like no nah, that's not right um, but that's usually a, you know a, a good in indication to whether you're kind of going on the right the right way and you know whether you're happy with it but yeah so sorry guys I've I've um I've just completely forgot to to record bits of cutting out and this and that but um I am trying. Yeah, just a little update, really. So uh, I'll, uh, I shall continue, you know, cutting my cardboard and uh, and this and that. So, um, but anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, as usual, give us a like, comment, subscribe, share, anything you want to do. Uh, comments, good or bad, it's, um, you know, we've all got different ideas. If we didn't, It'd be a boring place, wouldn't it? But um, but yeah, so I'll carry on and I'll uh, I'll see you later.